When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 39 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay states, Practical distance measurements taken from the Australian Handbook Almanac Shippers and Importers Directory state that the straight line distance between Sydney and Nelson is 1,550 statute miles. Their given difference in longitude is 22 degrees, 2 minutes, and 14 seconds. Therefore, if 22 degrees, 2 minutes, and 14 seconds out of 360 is 1,550 miles, the entirety would measure 25,182 miles. This is not only larger than the ball Earth is said to be at the equator, but a whole 4,262 miles greater than it would be at Sydney's southern latitude on a globe of said proportions. So this is another situation where you have to decide if Dubay is lying directly or if he's just lying by repeating someone else's lie and not having the intellectual integrity to check facts for himself. Given that he is allegedly quoting an almanac that seems to only have been published in the late 1800s, I'm going to assume he's again repeating someone else's old lie. Does anybody think Dubay researched and bought a copy of this old rare book? Nah, of course not. First off, the distance from Sydney, Australia to Nelson, New Zealand is just under 1,307 miles, not 1,550 miles. So even using his lying calculation of dividing 360 degrees by the difference in their longitudes and then multiplying by the distance, you get a circumference of 21,310.57 miles, which is smaller than the circumference of the Earth. Now, some of you globe deniers might be saying, see, that math doesn't add up either. Why is it smaller? Well, that's because Dubay is lying about what that distance represents. The 1307 miles doesn't represent 22 plus degrees of longitude because these two locations aren't at the same latitude. And even if they were on the same latitude, you won't find the shortest distance between two points on the earth along the same latitude, unless that latitude happens to be the equator. This shortest distance is a great circle path and represents about 18.9 degrees rounding up and calculates to about 24,890 miles. Now, I know Eric knows he's lying because he then says the distance is greater than it would be at Sydney's latitude. Just Sydney's because he knows that they are not both at the same latitude. I honestly don't have time to get into the nitty gritty of this, but there's, here's a simple analogy to show what Dubay is doing. You have a piece of land that measures 100 meters by 100 meters perfectly square with posts at the northwest corner and the southeast corner. Dubay says you're lying about the size because he measured the distance between the two posts and it's over 140 meters and that's longer than the dimensions you gave for the land. He really thinks you're that dumb. And if you actually buy into this claim, I might have to agree with him there. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 